guys welcome back to jerusalem's playroom my name is jamika and this is my doll jerusalem and i want to show you guys a haul that i've done for the playroom and for christmas so this outfit here that jerusalem is wearing guys i when i first saw it i left it at the store but then it was just heavily on my mind so i went back and i saw it the little label on the inside had a six to nine months but when I brought it home and put on her, it is extremely big. Jerusalem can wear 12 months clothing, but this outfit here to me is more so like, I would say a 2T, um, if not a 2T, maybe a 3 or a 4T. But I just loved it because of the simple fact it had the little giraffe spots on there. And it has a giraffe here on the side with a stripe. And then at the bottom has the word giraffe. And then once you turn it around, I do have it clipped. It just has this cute little pattern, pattern here. And I was trying to Google to see um, what company made this outfit. I couldn't come up with anything. So I'm thinking that this was personally hand sewn or either um, hand, you know, uh, made. So I just was so happy that I got it and I saw it and I just put that little bow on Jerusalem hair to kind of fit the color scheme of it. So this is an outfit which I consider sort of like a gender neutral outfit. So I'm glad I got this and added it to the playroom. So I'm gonna put her down guys because I got a lot of stuff here that I wanna show you uh, today. Okay. I'm always on the lookout for little vases. So when I saw this, I got it because I got, my plants are growing. <laughs> And guys, I'm telling you right now that I guess the element in my house when they were outside, they were just growing. So when it get cold, I bring them inside. So I brought this. I haven't um, cleaned it yet, but I'm going to put one of my plants inside of this and put it in the playroom. So this is something that I got. And if you go, just look, if you have a little house plant or something you want to put in them, they are inexpensive. So I always grab them when I see them or see one that I like. Now, this right here, guys. Um, it's a lot. I had to put it in this basket here because it is a lot. Okay, guys, there is a YouTuber whose channel is called The Gummy Channel. Now, I watch her channel because I do have some baby alive dolls. And on her channel, she has baby alives too. So I was looking at her clothing that she has for her dolls. And in one of her um, episodes, she mentioned about how the clothes are cost a lot of money. I'm looking just to make sure my dog hasn't gotten to lose. But she was talking about how the price of the clothes are kind of pricey, which they are. So I've been going to Walmart and I've been looking at like their our generation clothing. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay $10. Guys, if you want to call me cheap, that's fine. But I was like, I'm not going to pay no $10 for just one outfit. You know, that can add up. So anyway, I went to my local thrift store and do not pass the bags of dog clothes. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, but guys, I watch another channel called Benny Dolls. Hi, Benny. And I'm going to send you your package if you watch. So Benny Doll always show how she buys things. And if it's something that she wants, she keeps it. And she shows how you can buy these bags and use the clothes to dress your other dolls that is what i did here so here's an example now yes it is a little big on her guys but this is just showing you an example of one of the little dresses that you can get now this is a small baby alive doll i have a bigger one and i was trying to look around and see where i put her because i had her for the video but anyway she'll come up but Again, I just want to show you how you can get these clothes, fix them up, and put them on your doll and make them look like they're, I mean, just brand new. So I'm not going to completely, I'm going to try not to go through all of the clothes. But guys, here's just an example. It didn't have the bottom with it. Look at that. Now this one here is just a little top. And like I said, it's just, uh, a, it's just a whole bunch of little clothing that I got, I just, that I can dress my little small dolls up with. So next I want to show y'all this doll here. 
I was intending on getting her, and I did do research on her. It is her name is Rahel. She's uh, from Ethiopia. Is it the heart to heart dolls or heart, something like that? I was going to purchase her when I saw her at Target when they first came out. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to pay that. If they go reduce, I will. Never got around to getting getting her, purchasing her. But I found her and didn't have a price on. So I got another doll and I asked them. I was like, hey, can I get this doll and just y'all charge me the price for the other doll? They said yes. So she looks like she's missing some of her bracelets on this arm but she has her little necklace here she's missing her skirt and she's missing her little sandals but she was in i mean really great condition guys only thing is she just really needs to be washed i just think she's just really pretty and i just this is a doll that's going to be displayed in the playroom so i'm happy that i saw her let me put her down here now since i'm not going to go through all of these clothing i did also get some little lol dolls i think i got four in here but guys i just want to show you this whole basket here and this is the basket from the dollar store uh these are clothes and actually speaking of that doll she's in here glad i held it up and here's a bottle that i found in one of the bags too because i um, like to save these because you can also use these for um your dolls okay here she go this is an example of one of those dresses how it looks nightgown how it looks on the baby alive doll and again you can check out the gummy channel channel because that's what i was looking at and trying to get ideas to see what kind of clothes would fit these dolls if you do not want to buy like the preemie size clothes uh, baby clothes these clothes right here fit them pr uh, perfect and watch her channel yes i'm, I'm going to tag her in here but watch her channel and watch benny doll channel also so you can get an idea on how to dress your little doll if you're trying to save money now when i go into the store and i see barbie dolls and they have on unique outfits i purchase the dolls and just take their clothes off that's what i did with these dolls right here this is was um i think this was cinderella and snow white so i just I thrifted the dolls back, guys, because I got so many Barbie dolls in my collection already. So I just got the clothes. And again, this is shout out to Benny because watching her channel, that is how my collection has grown. So got my mom. This this is a Christmas gift that I got. My mom likes M&Ms. So I did her a basket with the M&M theme. Now I put candy in there and I keep finding them. So she's going to have mugs. She don't have to have drink coffee she can have soup in this oodles of noodles that's what we call them here ramen noodles or she can have cocoa whatever she doesn't have to have coffee or if she doesn't want to do that she can put pens and uh, pens and pencils in here whatever she wants to do with this so these also make good little gifts and i may end up putting some more candy in here next walmart had a little sale i'm I remember guys I said I was going to stop buying gifts for the babies because I've been going to so many baby showers and finding out all the stuff that we've been paying our money for is being donated to the thrift store well anyway this was an inexpensive gift that I found at Walmart it was on clearance it's five dollars it has a book and then it came with a little uh, stuffed animal and I'm going to give this to mom and maybe another outfit or something for something for mom because the lady who is inviting me to the baby shower it is her son's baby mama or something like that so i was just going to give this to her and she told me she said the baby they already had a whole lot of stuff so i'm like it doesn't make sense for me to buy a whole lot of things if she's already got it i might just do this in a bag and a ten dollar gift card okay guys i am surprised that they did not have these behind the counter Sometimes it'd be a hit and miss, but this time I said, I don't know who it was, but I'm just grateful. Look at this. Boom. Yes. This right here is the, uh, this size here is uh, 5C. These are the Nikes. They just need to be cleaned up, guys. These were $6.99 and these were $4.99. Look at that. They just need to be cleaned up. So basically, Jerusalem can wear both of these sizes. 
she can wear both of these size guys i don't try to sell them i just i just style my doll up and dress my doll up my doll be looking sharp so i just wanted to show you guys what i got for jerusalem okay here's another outfit when i saw this i called my daughter and i told my daughter i said look i saw this and i said i immediately thought of you and i can't wait to do a photo shoot look at this y'all it is a little stitch full like it can be a sleeper or something you just want to put on your little one and run to the store so i know baby girl journey can wear this because it is a uh three months and i think was it a three months or zero to three months well it was in the three month section and guys it, it's just look at that beautiful so i can't wait to get her to put her in that now again as i always tell y'all y'all know if you haven't uh, if you don't know i collect crochet blankets this one here is sort of like a neutral color it can be used for a boy or girl now this one was $3.99 they i just i don't know but anyway and i did a video also calling talking about heirlooms so this is something that you would just put in a cedar chest for your little one to grow up and pass it down this would be a great baby shower gift to give especially if it's mom and it was hers and they pass it down you know she had children or whatever so i think this is really good but and i'm glad i got it next i got this guys because i was i was getting it for baby girl journey but it says six to nine months and i'm like i think she can wear it sometimes the tags in here it says nine months but it's just kind of big to it's kind of small on a small scale to me but anyway i'm gonna try it on her and see if she can wear it so i can get ready to take my christmas pictures and i'm so late i gotta hurry up and do it i got my outfit and everything now i got my grandsons a whole bunch of outfits so i've got to wash these and i'm gonna this is a 3t from cat and jack and i saw that cat and jack is from target i don't know if they're at another store and then i got him this little this is one of my grandsons this little shirt here and his mom can put a long sleeve shirt up under it so that's one outfit then my son-in-law who is he say he's mexican hispanic i don't know but i got him this shirt here for, um to represent south america i don't know what country this is from but in the back it has some information on here about it and the shirt looks brand new guys so all i'm gonna do is wash it but this is what i'm giving him for christmas i usually just give the men t-shirts it's just easier for me to do that then guys for myself <laughs> i found this look at that does it read trooper yes so i got this for myself because nobody really wears star wars and if i show y'all my pants i got on some star wars leggings so this is um something i got for me then i saw this one i have the one with the long sleeves but i found this one with the short the only difference is on the back, it has the dark side. So I can't wait to dress one of the babies up in this. And this one is a zero to three months. So baby girl, Journey probably can wear it. Several of the dolls can wear that. Then I, again, I found this little preemie um, onesie. When I see them, I get them. Then I found this, guys. Look at this. I can't wait to put Jerusalem in this and let her take a picture in this. And I do have dark beta mask. So oh, I, when I see things, I'm really thinking like photos, taking pictures from my dolls. And this is just going to be great. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about letting this be like for New Year's or something like that, sitting out for New Year's. So we'll see. Then while I was looking, <laughs> I found this one. I don't know who sold this shirt. Um, This is Pixar. Brand new guy. Still has the tag on there. I forgot how much I paid for it, but um, th yeah, I got to wash it. And this is going to be something that I'm going to wear because I have the stuffed animal and I also have Mount Waz Mike Wazowski. I have his little onesie that I can let one of the dolls wear. So I can't wait to wear this. Now, that is one uh, shopping trip. On the so I did go to another one today. So... And I'm trying to separate them because when I go online and post the stuff, I be forgetting which store I get it from. So I say I got to start, you know, looking at these videos. So this is my second thrift store I went to. 
So here is a little preemie. Again, I tell you guys, when I see them, I just go ahead and get them. A little preemie onesie. Then I got my grandson's um, some little jeans. As soon as I get through doing this video, I'm going to start washing clothes. I, I, I try to wash everything in one walk. Then I got him some sh these shirts. Even though they're for the summertime or the spring, he can his mom can always put like a thermal shirt up under there. So both of these shirts were 99 cents. So he's going to be straight for Christmas. Then I got my, I'm not going to show this. I got a slip. Then I got this. I don't know what show she's from, but I've been collecting the Marvel action figures. I did see, what was her name? Marvel Girl. I don't know if this is an updated Marvel Girl. I don't know, but I didn't get the other Marvel Girl. But when I saw her, I said, let me get her and add her to my collection. So I got her. And I might put her somewhere with Captain America. Then... For me, this is for me. Usually, if their jewelry looks halfway decent, I I get them. But these right here, this could have been a bracelet. I got these earrings right here. I thought they were cute. They big. But this is something like I wear if I was to go out or something like that. If I had my hair up, so I got those. Now, when I saw these, I didn't realize they had the little black piece on them but i got them i'm gonna take that little i'm gonna take this off i hope y'all can y'all can see that i'm gonna take this part off but i got them because of the little unk they were 149 and i'm gonna spray paint them gold and and, and if i don't do that i can always put it on a necklace so i got that those i know i'm gonna keep them as earrings i got the unk so i thought those were really nice now let me put this back and put these earrings back so I won't. For the grand finale, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I used my coupon on this one. When I saw it, I was like, I know somebody just kept this for years. It had to be in a closet. It just, it's vintage. Yes, it is. And I don't want to wash it, but it has washing instructions in here. I, guys, it hasn't been washed. It is from a company called Millicent of San Francisco, made in the USA. And it says machine wash, machine wash, use a mild soap or warm, tumble dry. If I wash it, I'm not going to put it in the dryer. Look at that. Beautiful. Then not only that, here's the hat that came with it. And it says 24 months. So let me let me get baby girl Jonah Lynn and show y'all guys what it looked like on her. Come on, Jonah Lynn. And she's gonna be my model today. And I actually need to change her clothes. <laughs> so let me take this bowl out of her head. So this is what it looks like. It might be too. Oh, this is just. It says 24 months. So it probably can be a little. Oh, let me turn it this way. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know who. Sometimes people pass away. And, and when they're cleaning out their clothes, you know, cleaning out closet or getting rid of things, sometimes people don't realize uh, the value, the sentimental value of things, which I understand. I just wish, you know, sometimes you can let people come over and, you know, if you don't want some, some people do estate sales, you know, and this is one of those items that could have been sold. For an estate. Now, like I said, it says 24 months on the inside, but it is kind of okay. So let's see. It's running on the small side, guys. So let me take this off her and let's try baby girl Gemma. She's right here. I don't want to drop these. 
Let's see. Let me this down. I keep baby girl Gemma up. So here's baby girl Gemma. I haven't changed her either. So let's see how this looks on baby girl Gemma. Yep. So even though it's saying 24 months, guys, I think this is more so on um, three to six months. Because babe, that's what size baby girl Gemma can wear. Oh, this is just precious. Perfect. And, and and if you had a little one standing up, mama can stand up and, you know, like hold her up while she's wearing this. And guys, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know this was going to. Because like I said, on the inside, it says 24 months. So I didn't know, baby girl. This was going to fit, baby girl, Gemma. Let me move this glass back. I just think this is so, so pretty. And again, guys, watch um the Yummy channel, the, the Gummy, the Gummy channel and Benny Doll. And y'all get a chance if y'all watch them. I watch a lot of them, so. Woo! Yes. And you don't have to button it all the way up to the top. I'm just going to button these couple buttons here. Mm -mm -mm. I got so much to do and so little little time to do it because of by me working at the hospital. Okay, so let's see if we can put her. There we go. Guys, look at that. Isn't that why would somebody want to get rid of this? This is this is how it looks. I would take my baby to church. Oh, I, I remember the girl, the, the ladies would bring their daughters to church. I didn't get to dress my girls like this. Oh my, look at that. Who would want to get... <laughs> look how it looks at the back. It's just beautiful, guys. I can't sell that. And I got, an, I think I have another one like that. This is just too pretty. <laughs> well, anyway... Let me put baby girl down. That is just adorable. I need to take a picture with her just like that. Okay, I'm looking around the room making sure I do not have anything else to show you guys and I don't. So I pray you guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching Jerusalem Playroom. Make sure you check out the Gummy channel and make sure you check out Benny Dolls. Like I said, because I get a lot of my inspiration from, from their channels. And a lot of people, I, I'm sure they got a lot of views and that's fine. It's not all about that with me. I just wanted to let you guys know that I do enjoy watching a lot of YouTube channels and getting ideas and getting inspired. And those are two channels that I enjoy watching. Okay, well, you guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching Jerusalem Playroom. Stay tuned because you never know what's going to come into the room. All right, see you guys later. Bye.